focus on matters education, the government is expressing optimism it would achieve a 100% turnout in schools as they launched a door-to-door -door campaign to trace learners who are yet to resume learning in Isiolo. Data in Isiolo County suggests an impressive 91% turnout in primary schools. In Kilifi, 84.2% of primary school learners have reported back to school as the campaign to have all students report back to school intensifies. Speaking during an inspection to all of the three schools in Isiolo County, the team of government officials reported only 4,000 children were yet to report back to school across the vast county. Public Service Principal Secretary Mary Kimoni and the PS in charge of public works and infrastructure Paul Maringa said they had launched a door-to-door -door campaign to trust the learners. The important thing about this is that the names of the students are known, uh, the chiefs of the areas are known, and they're actually going door to door looking for these students. We have a number who are unwell, not COVID, just uh, students. You know the normal, somebody broke a leg, they can't come back to school. Others is just single distance, just simple distance because of where they have to come to. And I'm told even under normal circumstances, uh, this would be the situation even when in other places. In Cliffy County, Principal Secretary for Regional Development, Dr. Margaret Owawuda Mokima, led a team of government officials and toward primary schools and secondary schools in Kilifi, Lamo, and Tana River counties. We also uh, um, wish to see uh, how the physically challenged are coping um, with the current dispensation. Um, and uh, not only uh, the pupils and the students, uh, but also uh, how are the teachers uh, relating and coping? Because we do not want to leave any um, of our children behind. Kilifi North Deputy County Commissioner Joseph Noticia said 84.2% of learners in public primary schools had reported back to school, while 74.1% of students in public secondary schools had reported back. There is a big challenge, just like in the rest of the country, on social distancing. Most of these public schools are overwhelmed by space because uh, there are several private institutions that closed down and those pupils have sought places in public uh, uh, schools. So we are having that challenge. Then on uh, the masks, enforcement of wearing the masks to the pupils is also a big challenge. Some of them are putting them in the pockets and uh, just when they leave the classroom, one at all, so, but we are still working to see how we can work together with the teachers to see how we can enforce the same in schools. In Mandera County, Cooperative Principal Secretary Alia Ismail Noor said lack of teachers, insufficient provision of water as well as inadequate infrastructure are the main challenges facing schools in Mandera. A number of schools that uh, are operating below the staff complement or establishment that has been approved. Uh, and uh, this one is a problem, I'm sure, which is very well known to the Minister of Education and government is doing its best to resolve that issue. Elsewhere, the government is in the final stages of acquiring a nine-acre piece of land in Kasarani that will be used to build a new primary school in order to decongest the overstretched Muki Primary School. PS Energy Engineer Joseph Njorogi says the land is located opposite a river queue which will also serve pupils who cross over from Kasarani to Muki Primary.